Hello beautiful people, you yeah, are welcome to today's tutorial. This is Zain of Abdul Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and as well drop your comments in the comment section if you enjoy today's tutorial. So let us get started. In today's tutorial, I want to learn how to create a flyer design for a confectionery brand that is a brand that deals with uh, cake making, uh, all this um, <clears throat> confectionery things like shin shin all those all those stuffs so let us get started i've already opened my picture lab up so i'll come to my background here and change the color to white i want to use a white color background so the next thing is to bring in shapes and the shape i'm bringing in is circle shape so i will expand the circle like this don't worry you are still going to see it later and then bring it up to cover the whole place then we'll come to shadow enable the shadow for it you can see so this is how it has expanded so we'll come to shadow again okay, let's go back to shadow and reduce the opacity of that shadow so we'll come to this plus button here and then reduce the opacity of the shadow to something like this all right so we've done that the next thing is to duplicate this shot uh, this circle shape and then we'll enable color for it and then i'll come to opacity i reduce the opacity to like 50 then the shadow i'm going to put it off yes and place it on top here so the next thing for me to do is the first circle i'm going to bring in texture inside it so i'll go to texture So I want it to be a texturized background. So sorry, let's go to texture again. So I'll be ringing in the texture I want to use in this design. So this is the texture I want to use. Yes, perfect one. Then we'll say OK. Then we'll now bring this one on top of it. So the the, uh, the first uh, circle, I'll give it stroke, I'll enable stroke for it and give it a stroke of like 10 and that's okay. Then we'll place this one on it, we will not allow it to cover the stroke, so just place it strategically. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is um, to bring in other shapes and then continue the design okay let's still move this up a little bit too so before i bring in other shape let's bring in text into this design so i'm coming i'm trying to adjust this guy All right so it's perfectly adjust we lock it down so now we'll bring in text into it we'll come to text Okay, the first circle that has the texture, let us reduce the opacity also a little bit to let's say 90 or uh, 80. This is the 80. Okay, now we cannot bring in our text. So go to text and then type in our text. Sorry. So the name is, um, let's say. Z confectionaries so our Z will be bigger so we'll come to font the font I want to use is Sinzo Sinzo for decorative let's see it's black Sinzo decorative black then I'll come to color and change the color to white I've changed the color to white and a little position is so let's do a little bit of text effects so we'll go to stroke and give it a stroke of um let's give it a stroke of 10 then our stroke color red we we'll give it this red right so i'll duplicate it 
then I'll come to 3D for the first one, 3D text. Then we'll come here and put off the stimulate lightning. And then we'll choose our depth. Let's say we want it to be oblique. We'll reduce the depth to 2. And then oblique angle. Bring it to 270. Just reduce it. Okay. Let's say let's leave it at 271. Let's delete this. I'm going to duplicate this. And I will go to uh, stroke and put off the stroke. Right, so I'll place this on top. Uh, okay. So now let's give this text a shadow so that it will stand against the background. Well. So now we'll come here to this plus button and reduce the opacity of the shadow to so somewhere here. Yeah, fine. So then we'll now place this on top of it. I also give this a shadow. But I'll be giving it a another shadow color. Let's give it white. Let's see white. Uh, they will reduce the opacity of the shadow and then we can copy also and reduce it somewhere here okay or should we just let's leave it at black using the first preset we use for the one on that so this is z but we can still increase the stroke of this guy the first one let's increase the stroke to like 15 Okay, now, yeah. Alright, so. Okay, another thing to do is let's duplicate this. And then we'll go to we'll disable the shadow. we we'll enable inner shadow for it. Let's give it inner shadow of red. Let's see. Okay, it's giving the effect. Let's go to shadow, inner shadow, and then glow radius. Reduce the glow. Let's see. Would this be fine? Alright, so let's see. We gave it inner shadow and a blur radius of 3, offset of 5, offset x5, offset y. I'll give it minus 4. Wow, we have a beautiful text effect. Wow, this is beautiful. Alright, so let's lock them down so that they don't move. Now I'll bring in another text and then we'll type. Z confectionaries, confectionaries, confectionaries. Mm. Let's give it capital letter all through, and they will come to font. We we'll give it. Let's see if we can use this single font. Single, single font. Okay, so let's use single bold and see what it will give us. We we'll come to color and give it white color. Z confectioners. Right, I want this confectioners to be somewhere here. So we we'll reduce it. The size of the text is um 24. Our Z text, let's see the size. We we'll use 154. Yeah. Z confectioners. So we can still come to our first circle here and reduce the opacity again mm, so that our text effect will be showing well let's do this to 30 all right okay 
Okay, so we have to then let's let's disable the shadow for it. No, let's still enable it. You can increase the opacity back. Opacity for the first second. Let's increase the opacity back. Mm -hmm. Let's leave it as sixteen. Okay, perfect. Z confectionaries. So now the next thing is to lock this one down also, and they will come to shape, bring in a circle shape this time around. So once, whenever you click on the shape button here, so if you don't want to scratch, you just click on this arrow here, and then it will change the shape for you. All right. So I'm reducing this circle. I'm going to give it a shadow also, and then give. Reduce the opacity of the shadow. Yes. Because I don't want to change the color, so I just want to give it a shadow. Z confectionaries. So this one will give it a relative position in the middle. And then we bring this one here and then this one here. Alright, so now I want to bring in texture into all these forms, but this time around I will not texturize them. I'm going to bring in the image separately. So I'll go to import and then come to gallery and search for the image we want to use. So Let's search for the image you want to use. Okay, where is this image? Shouldn't be far from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's. Alright, so I'll bring in this one. So while importing it, we are going to choose the um, circle area here. Yeah, we choose this one here so that it comes in circle and then. You can choose the one ratio one aspect and then choose the circle. Choose the circle. So it's going to bring just so you can now focus the circle on the area you want it to be showing. Alright, so now we have a perfect circle. So we'll come here and reduce it. Then place it inside this guy. Here. Yes, so let's place it well. Okay, now the next thing is to bring in another one. So we're going to use the same style for everything. If you if you import it as a texture, it might not look beautiful. So that's why I'm importing it separately. So let's bring in this cake here. So remember, we choose the one ratio, one preset, and then circle. So it's going to give us a perfect circle. We can now reduce it and then bring in it into have already made shape all right the next one let's bring in another shape another image rather so bring in the last image for this um let's see let's see let's see let's see okay let's use this one one is one and then a perfect circle. I want this one to be showing also. So reduce it and place it into our circle. All right. So what next should we do? So let's give our background a texture. So let's go to imports and bring in an image that we can use for texture. Let us go, let us search for it. Oh, yes, this guy here will do it, will give us a great texture. So, I'll choose one ratio one preset, then increase it. Then, come to opacity, reduce it, and then send back. Yes, that's gone to the back. So I'll come to color filters and decrease the hue and saturation. I don't want the color to be showing. I just want the pattern only. You can see. So we reduce the opacity to five percent 
and then we we'll uh, we'll do the what let me increase the opacity and see the effect of the color filters so if you if you increase it back you can see it will change the color but once we reduce it you know it went back to it gave it color black so now we can now reduce the opacity back to five percent so we just want the texture let's give it six seven percent is okay so now let's quickly save as projects so we can continue that confectioners okay all right so i'm opening the project we saved already all right so the next thing is to bring in text again so i'll be bringing in i'm oh, sorry let's remember to lock this down so that it doesn't keep moving so now we can duplicate our confectionary text duplicate it give it color red and then i want to type okay, i think this is a food uh, fruit cake i want to name those guys so fruit cake so we'll come to uh curve and then we'll curve it in what like this let's see i want it to to surround them the the text i mean the circle shape so let's see the one that will fit perfectly for it we are still coming we are going back to curve all right so let's come to rotate and um, rotate it so that it fits perfectly let's let's do it this way you are still going to go to the cuff let's go to the cuff button where's our cuff Okay, first cake. Chocolate cake. Yes, this one we are going to reduce this test size. Let's do this test size to 15. And then place it round. Let's do this test size to also 15. Then that's like adding small details. So we we'll go to the cuff and then increase the cuff a little bit so that it will fit in around the circle. fruit cake chocolate cake then the last one this one is um muffins let's give this one muffins muffins and then we can place it somewhere so i want it to fit around this text so let's come to our cuff the cuff of 40% should be okay for this. Ah, uh, no, we are so confused. Uh, sorry, I'm touching what I'm not supposed to touch. All right, so we have um, the call for this one is minus 45 the cuff for this let's see minus 55 and the cuff for this minus 30. all right so let's save changes so our, our image size is let's take a look at it 180 
by 1280. So you want to set your image size to exact size ratio 1 ratio 1. So now we will bring in other information into our design. So let's continue. We've already labeled this one full cake, chocolate cake, muffins. So let's balance these guys. So this time around, I would like to bring in my grid lines. I'll click on my grid lock here and come to settings and then. So because I want it to be balancing as I'm going on. So let us see if it's actually balanced. Um, okay, we need to work on this too here. So we balance on this side. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Okay, I think we have a balance. Uh, the middle one, let us see the middle one also. Uh, I don't want it to touch the text effect, so. Alright, so then we can now move the text up. Huh? Use the position button to move it. And I will come here again, click on the text, and use the position button to move it up. Okay, perfect. Now we can now lock all of this one down so that they don't move away from their position. Yes, we can save changes. Saving your projects. And then editing it will allow you to save ch any changes you make into your design. So, can always employ that. Alright, so now let's continue. We have to bring in, um, like, a, a, what should we call that? Um, let's see. Services. Yes, uh, service. Services, so we'll go to font. I will give it since so good. Sorry, since you booked, they will come to color and give it the black color. So, I want to list our services. We do fruit cake, we do red velvet. Let's do this cake. Uh, what other cake? Chocolate. Muffins. Hamburgers. can say experts in the baking and making of fruit cake, red velvet, chocolate cake, muffins, and polka. What other functionalities do we have? We can say uh, cookies. It is so let us read this one's bullet points let's give them bullet points so I'm going to cut out this one cut Alright, then this service is I'm going to change it to this text to cut out. Mm -hmm. I'm using the text and then and we'll change this color, change it to red. Text size of this one is 17. 
Let's use this size 215. The round seam to front. I'm using a family of scissors, but I'll not be using scissor boot. Let's use scissor regular. Scissor regular. Then color. Color black. Oh. You cannot come to style and board it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So let's remember we are working with our grid lines. Maybe how many spaces am I having? One, two, three. Uh, this enough to. I need to work on this side. I'm just going to move the circle. Yes. Inside a little bit. Let's use the position button to get the perfect one. Okay. And then can I lock it back? And then the muffins. I'll click on it and then come here. Use the position button to adjust it. All right, fine. So let's save changes. Let's cut and we can make enough. There we need to. Uh, okay, let's see other services. Our other services. What do we do? Other things that we do. I'll duplicate this. I'm going to change this font. Let's change this font to Montserrat regular. Yes. Um, yes, Montserrat regular. I also change this one to Montserrat regular. And the star, I'm going to disable the star. Disable it. Other services, wedding cakes. Wedding cakes. Birthday, what is birthday cakes? Um, what else? I think it's birthday cakes. Cakes for any cakes and treats for any occasion. Yeah. Okay. Let's reduce this guy and then we should give this a bullet point also. And so soon be done. All right, perfect. So the next nice thing we want to do now is to bring in um, address and then all those things. So let us see how we can do that. I'm going to bring this one down. Mm. We are working on alignment. So let us bring this one to this side. So we can now do our put our address here. So let's just duplicate this test. Duplicate it. Then we'll come here. Yes, address. Our office address. Office address. Then, can I copy this one? Paste and then type in the address. Number 50. Olon Shogo Street. Of Ukelan Toro Abel Kuta Ukun States. Okay, is that the fictional address? Is not real, so so let us be minding our 
alignment okay now we need to uh, let's say we have two office address office address one then office address two duplicates twenty eight Ala Chabara Street Imoru Ijabedi Ogun State at second office address. Okay. Are we getting it? Yes, we are getting there. We are getting there. So I'm going to move this one here. This one should also come here. This one should also come like this and like this. Alright, so we have equal spacing on all sides. Alright, so now let's bring in another sh rectangle shape. Here we'll be putting our contact info. So we'll come to bring give it relative position that will come to shadow reduce the opacity of the shadow then give it a color i'm going to reduce the opacity of the color to like 50 let's say 60 yes then Place it in relative position. It's already in relative position. So let's go back to the shadow and then the offset of Y to 3. Alright, we lock it down so that it doesn't move. Now just duplicate a text and then type in, then give it white color. Color white. Then type in what call or what's up call or what's up this phone number let us see sorry zero seven zero thirty five ninety five seven thirty one okay Now let's bring it in color what's up let's increase it the size is 22 then duplicate and write for order and delivery order and delivery for order for inquiry 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 comma order and leave it so i got to reduce the size of this one let's increase reduce the size to 12 12 is okay we can reduce the size this is to 18 then bring this one in let's increase this one to 14 is okay now let's balance every element in our design okay i'm using the relative position to move all these things so I'm working with the grid lines also. Okay, I think we have a perfect alignment for this. Call our WhatsApp for inquiry, order, and delivery. Yes. Okay, I think we have um, something perfect. Now let's see. The office address. You can still reduce that. Bring it up. Come to position. Move it inside. Position. I always reduce it to one pixel so that it doesn't move too fast. Yes. 
Ok. Então se vai ter usado me ensinar. Vídeo tem aquele lugar de texto de ao balance a de from the up to the downside. You see that they are sitting on the grid lines. So that's what I want to achieve. So and we we've achieved that. I'm trying to achieve that alignment. All right, now we have a very beautiful design. We can now save changes. And then we can save to gallery. We don't add any of that into this. This is already perfect. So we'll go to save as. Let's still use our grid line to check if there's any mistake anywhere. Okay, this confectionery. I need to adjust it a little bit. So I'll use my position button to move it inside. Yeah. Okay. Yes, now let's save changes. And I will come to save as image, ultra, and then save to gallery. So allow it to save. Yes, image has been saved successfully. So let's go to Snapseed and then enhance the quality of that image. Want to enhance the quality of our design to make it more beautiful. So I've gone there and bring it in. You can see it's already beautiful, but we want to make it extraordinarily beautiful. So we'll come here. I love using these presets here. So let me use, let me check any of this. Okay, this pop is not looking bad actually. But I love to use accentuate. See the accentuate effects. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All right, so this is it. We can now export and then we save. You can see how beautiful that design looks. So you can try yours. And if you have any question, put your question in the comment section. I will attend to them. So. I'm going to see you in another tutorial. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And as well, click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I post tutorials like this. So, bye-bye.